the dragon! <laughs> this takes me back. I remember the first time I tried to talk to you. You smacked me pretty good then, too. <laughs> Man, that hurts. <laughs> You sure don't know how to hold back, do you? Savid! Eisen White! Just watch. What? So, you're just waiting for me to die so you can help yourself to her heart. Is that it? Sorry, but that's not happening. I'm not dying here, and I won't let you kill her. I'll decide what I do, Zavid. <laughs> Fine! Then I'm deciding to help Zavid, no matter what you tell me, Ivan. <laughs> Zavid! This dragon wouldn't hesitate to attack a child. Or the man who risks his own life to protect it. <clears throat> Tell me, Zavid, who is this white horn dragon? <clears throat> you said that your creed was to never give up on living, no matter what may happen. If you really believe that, would you say that you're living right now? <sighs> because to me, you don't look like someone truly living. The hell are you saying? I understand now. Aizen really isn't the one who's cursed. By killing Theodora, he's actually saving... It's time to lift this curse. But I'm this close. I won't miss. Form zero. Now, rise. Arise. Ascending. Angel. Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try. Perfect mayhem. We're right. The light of virtue. The dark of vice. Join in chaos. Chaos works. No mercy. You thought I'd stop there? Annihilated.
It's that fire again. Amazing it can extinguish that much malevolence. But the dragon... <sighs> Please, turn back to normal! <gasps> I can do it! With this flame! David! It's over. Why didn't you break your Reaper's curse? What? Did you want me to eat its heart? Don't answer a question with another question. The Reaper's curse is mine to bear alone. The danger of becoming a dragon, however, is a curse upon all Malachim. All that malevolence. It's going to take its toll on you, too. Yeah, I can already feel it starting. It won't be long before I wind up like her. You'll have to leave your pirate buddies before things turn ugly. I'm the first mate on Eifried's ship. So, to be honest, it's probably just as well. I'd rather end up a dragon than have this curse hijack my ship and my life anymore. <sighs> but I do fear one thing. I'm afraid that when I turn into a dragon, I could end up hurting the very people I want to protect. Theodora couldn't even recognize anyone she loved anymore. You saved her, Aizen. By killing her. <clears throat> Before all this, Theodora was a kind woman. She never wanted to hurt people, and she loved more deeply than anyone I've ever known. Yeah. Sometimes to kill someone is to save them. <clears throat> you have someone you're trying to protect too, don't you? My little sister. What's she like? She's like an early blooming flower. Wise for her age. She's got it all together. <laughs> Sometimes has to treat me like I'm the kid. She cries too easily. But deep down, she's so strong. Sounds like someone I'd like to get to know better. Who knows? Maybe I'll even marry her. Zavid! Don't you worry. I won't make a move until I've killed you. Zavid, what are you saying? Consider it revenge for Theodora. I'll be the one who finally puts you out of your misery. But I'll only kill you once you've stopped being yourself. Only then. You sure? Yeah. I swear by my true name, Filk Zadea, Zavid the Oath Keeper. Ufemi Uexu. That's my true name. I'll remember it. Is there really no other way? There must be something besides turning into a dragon, or getting yourself killed, right? In the end, what matters isn't whether we get killed or not. It's whether we can take control over the direction of our own lives. That's what it means to really be alive. That sounds sad. And hard. But I understand. And I'm going to live life in my own way, too. <laughs> well then, I hope we'll see each other again. Where are you going? Wherever the wind takes me.